Well, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. It's almost six o'clock, new time, but I want to get sharing with some people so uh, that I try to get involved in the morning devotions. So that sometimes has difficulty understanding um, Facebook land. <laughs> so, so I hope you're doing well this morning. So I had to start at six o'clock because uh, one thing that I need to do is work out and throughout my schedule I was like how am I supposed to get this in so uh, I try to hit the rack at five and get here before six and, and get to spend a few minutes with you in the word so um, today's verse today is Nahum 1 7 where it says the Lord is good a refuge in times of trouble he cares for those who trust in him. I think it that is interesting because just yesterday uh, in church, I uh, was speaking about God is with us uh, from Matthew and tied in with Psalms uh, 84, where it talked about the Valley of Baca. And in this verse, in Nahum, it talks about the Lord is good, a city of refuge, kind of referring to uh city of, uh, of, of refuge at the end um, getting through the valley and getting to a city of refuge which is a place of peace which is a place of, of refuge which is a place that um, it's like a hiding place and when you think about it is uh, the Lord is good as a refuge in times of trouble now, and, and I love this when referencing this that no matter what kind of things you may be going through, what kinds of situations you may be going through, or, or uh, I don't know, whatever you may uh, happening in your life right now, you can hide yourself into the presence of the Lord. But here's the deal is, you got to have a relationship with Him um, to, to really grasp that hiding, that refuge. Um, it's, it's like what I was thinking about it's almost like um, if he doesn't have a key to your heart you don't have a key to his kingdom and uh, so how do you really have a place of refuge if you don't actually allow him to have the key to your heart and so I was, I was thinking about that this morning you know it says that let me get to back, back to it uh, passwords um, the Lord is good that's true uh, a refuge in times of trouble he cares for those who trust him having a relationship with him saying that hey I trust you with every aspect of my life that's saying hey you have a key to my heart that actually gives you a key to his kingdom that actually gives you a place that gives you the assurance of eternal life that's spoken of in John and spoken of in Romans it's it's literally spoken throughout the Bible about eternal life truth is that yeah you could have a key to eternal life but there's a key uh, of hell as if you don't serve the Lord or you have the key to, to heaven is following after Christ and serving Christ. But you can't have both ways. You can't have the things of this world and the things of, of heaven all at the same time. You have to choose uh, what you're gonna serve. So anyways, there's a lot of thoughts in this today in this little passage of scripture. So if you have a notebook, go ahead and write this verse out. And Nahum, I haven't touched Nahum, the book of Nahum, for a long time. Uh, Nahum 1.7 says this. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. 
he cares for those who trust in him. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, and P, pray. Well, I always have two prayer requests, unspoken prayer requests, but need to pray for Abby. And uh, so let's go ahead and pray. So, Lord, I thank you so much for the day. I pray for those who are watching now and those who are watching later. I pray that you encourage their heart. I pray that you bless them, Lord, in this day. I pray that, Lord, that you just draw us closer to you, Lord God. I pray that, Lord, for those unspoken, that, Lord, that you know about, Lord, that you just meet them. I pray for Abby today, Lord, as she begins her uh, work today, Lord God, that you just help her do great exploits for you and the team, Lord, in Panama. I also pray that, Lord Jesus, that you help us be a blessing so that we, blessings to those that we come in contact with, Lord. We thank you for the opportunity, Lord. We just love you and we praise you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Well, if you have a prayer request or anything, you can put it in the comment area if you want everyone to see it. If you just want me to see it, go ahead and message me on Facebook. If you watch this on YouTube you can, or on the church website, you can email me at b1agks at gmail.com. Love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a great, great day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.